Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Jake and you are on the History of One Game Gaming Channel. Today we are going to take a look at the one of the most interesting strategic tycoon games of the year, Rise of Industry. From this video you will know overall information about this game, some features, gameplay and also we will have a special interview with the one of the game developers. Also we will give away free random game case through the whole video. So be ready and don't miss your chance to get some cool games for free. So let's start now. Rise of Industry was released this winter as an early access game and since then the game been constantly updated by its developers. It already gained some popularity from the lovers of this game genre. Why? Cause the game has really cool graphics and some cool gameplay mechanics. So let's start with some overall information about this game. Rise of Industry is a strategic tycoon game that puts you in the shoes of an early 20th century industrialist. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? In this game you will build factories, construct transport lines, move raw materials, produce finished goods and arrange trade with the world's developing cities, providing them with the resources they need to flourish, for as they grow and propose, so do you. Designed with an eye towards both accessibility and depth, Rise of Industry has enough strategic complexity and replayability to satisfy the most experienced fans of the genre, while its simple to understand mechanics ensure that the new players will love it too as well. So let's move on to the futures of this game. Rise of Industry will be really easy for the people who knows basics of economics such as supply and demand. You will need to use your PR and marketing to gain favor with your business partners. You can choose from over 100 individual products and manage the manufacturing process from harvesting raw materials all the way to delivering end product to local stores and townspeople. Build and manage a solid transportation network to enable the efficient transfer of the goods via plentiful trucks, speedy trains and high capacity airships. Be prepared for the first competition. Advanced town and a city AI made for an intelligent and a game changing world, so you won't be the only one looking for the best deal. Every town and game has its own personality. Adapt a suitable approach for every town or face their economic backlash. Huge procedurally generated maps means that you will always have a room to expand your empire into whether in testing scenarios or a sandbox mode, where imagination is your only limit. Be quick to adapt to the current business climate with the contracts, random events and the quests keeping you on your toes and the cash flowing in. Balance environmental impact with your productivity, trying to meet your neighborhood town demands. Ever-changing biomes will present different environmental changes as you aim to make the most out of the map. Lose potential oil reserves as polluted tundra melts into fields or the fritted grassland. So now, when you're already familiar with this game, we can move on to the interview that we recorded a few weeks ago with the one of the developer of this game, Alex. He's a really cool guy and he will answer a few of the questions we have for him and he will tell us few futures of the games that will wait for us in the future updates. Let's hear what he gonna say. Uh, hello Alex, let's first say a few words about your gaming studio uh, and people who work there. Uh, where are you based at and ATC? Sure, uh, let's see, we started uh, a couple of years ago, um, officially, uh, we've been working on and off on the game for over three years, we're currently nine people. Um, Soon enough we are going to expand, uh, starting uh, another project as well, but that will be announced after the summer. Um, the studio is located in Madrid, but the grand majority of the members of the team are abroad. Everybody's working remotely. This is first game from your studio. Where are yes, you, it is. Uh, where are you afraid of making the game in this uh, genre? Uh, is it uh, difficult in this time for the game of strategy? This is not such a popular genre right now. Just that's the thing, that's why I'm not afraid of doing it, because there's a huge hole in this uh, genre, that is the tycoon one. And nobody has done an, an industrial tycoon since Industry Giant 2, and that was like 15 years ago. So, it was basically ready and waiting for us. Um, had other ideas of doing instead of this game, but this one was the one that covered the niche the best. Industry Giant 2 is the main inspiration, a little bit of Anno 1404, mm -hmm. um, Factorio and SimCity of course, SimCity 4 to be specific. 
Next question is, uh, right now your game doesn't have a day-night cycle. Any chances we will have it in the future to make the game even more visually interesting? Absolutely. Biggest ones are modding that is coming uh, in fall with complete translations to any language imaginable. Um, creating skin assets, adding pollution, adding traffic, new production lines and then after release multiplayer. Do you have any plans making something like some skins that will be sold on the market on the Steam? Um, yes and no. Via modding we are going to use a Steam Workshop. Completely oh, free Steam. assets for everybody because I disagree on the fact that the community needs to pay for mods. Um, after release all the DLC that has features is going to be completely free. So you pay the game and you get all the content in the future forever for free. Um, the only thing that is going to be paid is skin packs. So basically it's reskins of the game. Basically, for example, right now the game is set in the early 20th century. Pretty realistic, kind of accurate. If you don't like that and you want a sci-fi one or a, me or a medieval or steampunk or whatever, Either you mod it, or you wait until we make the asset pack, which changes all the buildings, all the graphics, all the recipes and everything. And these, because they are cosmetical and optional, these are going to be paid, just to support the artists. Future plans of your company, right now? Um, more studio, more games. All of them are going to be focused on uh, management and tycoon. I want to try and do what Maxis used to do, all these sim games, and... Yeah, I just want to highly specialize in this kind of uh, genre. Okay, thank you, Alex. Have a nice thank day. Thank you, Jack. So, that's it for the interview with Alex. We hope it was interesting for you to listen to the developer of this great game. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.